Hi, I'm Andrew Mercado. Here's these infamous credits of the young doctors, and I'm here with the one and only beautiful nurse Tanya Livingston, hey. Judy McBurney. How are you? Oh, great. Oh, dear, there I am. You're shocked on the red phone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Alfred Sandor. Now, of course, this is a big episode for Tanya, which we'll get to in the minute. But there's more intrigue at the hospital before we make it to the church by the look of it. Yeah, I can remember that green dress. That was my wedding they're talking about, I bet. Andrew Sharp, doesn't he look, isn't he handsome? He is handsome. Very handsome, Andrew Sharp. Skin and blood samples matching those of Mr. Blair. We can prove it was your car. There was always some police investigation going on. John Domit. Oh, this is a oh, big night at Bunny's. Oh, that must have been my... It must have been Tony's Bucks tune or something. Just don't fizz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's his Bucks tune. <laughs> yeah. And there he is, my beautiful husband. He's got a very short dressing gown on. Yeah, well, he, he had gorgeous legs. Tony had gorgeous legs. And there's Judy Kennelly next to him. <laughs> Tim Page. Did Judy Kennelly sing on set between takes? I think she. Oh no, no. She did she would sing in bunnies? Yeah, she did. She'd sing. Uh, yeah, she'd sing in bunnies. I think she did sing in bunnies quite a few times. Look at Tony's nickels. Here we have an old costume in Spain. We drink and then we dance. See his dimples. Faster we dance, the better it is. Yeah, dimples. Oh, yeah. Oh, true. But it helps the alcohol move around your body. Doesn't just stay on your head. Mm. Now, I know now he'd been through a few girls in the hospital before he settled down with Tanya, hadn't he? Apparently. Appar look at that. He's very short, isn't well, it, that gown? <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. And then he met Tanya, oh. and that was oh. that. The Most infamously, that he was involved with Lisa Brooks, nurse Lisa Brooks, played by Paula Duncan. Oh, yes. Just before he was engaged That's to her, before right. he broke his engagement off to get he married did. to you. He did. Oh, oh. Lynn James, such a lady. Lovely dress she's got on. Yeah, yes. Oh, and there are those little, see, they had the hoods under those skirts, but they suited, suited them, they look pretty. And Kim Rand. Mm, the daughter of then Premier Neville yes. Rand. Yeah. Oh, that was my gown. Oh, that's right. We wore a lot of our own clothes. That was my gown, that blue one. That dressing gown? Yes, it was that dressing gown. Yes, it was quite in in those days. Yeah. It looks like Caroline Fielding's done your hair by the look of it. Was she a hairdresser as well as a receptionist? No, well, she must have been. She must have been. They better be. Well, I'll have me to answer to Ah, uh, Chris King. You were so funny. Daniel, I don't want to nag, but will you go? Is this my apartment? I think I did have... Yeah, what have I got under... I've got pyjamas under... Oh. <laughs> Oh, Alfred Sandor. Welcome to the House of Chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Raymond. Don't you look... He was in a circus, you know. Oh, well, That's where he started. He was a circus perform Everything performer. Mm. Oh, yes. yes, he was. Yes. He looks like oh, the ringmaster at this oh, one really as well. Yes. <laughs> Caroline's with her now. Oh, good. Did Caroline get her dress finished okay? Oh, yes. Yes, she did. Oh, no, this wouldn't be my apartment. That no, would be... Stuck that would be Lynn's apartment. Ah, yeah, cause because look, there's a daughter, a daughter of Joanne Joey. Samuel yeah, there. Joey. Very oh, good pick-up yeah. there. I, I know, I'm quite... Yes, I picked that up myself. Oh, no, dude. You wouldn't have lived in a grand house like that. Poor old no. Tanya would have had a flat or lived at the hospital, wouldn't she? No, she she lived. In, she had her own gorgeous apartment with teddy bears and plants and it was a bit kooky. I think they decided she was going to be kooky after a while. <laughs> Dr. Denner was always very serious, wasn't he? Was. Do you know, when I was a model, um, Michael Beecher was a model as well, and we used to do a lot of photographic work together. Really? In the old, yes, before we, before we went into this show. Yes, we, we worked together as models, he and I. So, I'm relying on you, Doctor. Isn't cute? Relying on you to tell me the truth. Oh, he was the policeman, I think. Hmm. I've already told you the truth. The truth, Doctor. The truth as to where you were and where and when you drove your car on the night of the accident. I love it how the policeman just throws Dr. Denham out of his chair and just well, he did, did. makes himself at home. He did. Solicitor. I trust that will be in order. Well, is he d cleaning his nails? That's Don't disgusting. That. Is that what he's doing? In fact, I'd recommend it. Please. I think so. It's like you're in very serious trouble, Doctor. Oh, I wonder what he did. I can't you remember. Have a pair of scissors, you? He is. Oh. oh my gosh, that's yuck. Oh, look at my Tony. 
That was a beautiful day. Look at their flares. Where was this church that you found that? Can you remember? Was it remember. I think where? Hunters Hill, was it, maybe? Could it be? I, I don't somewhere know. around there? Yes, North Shore somewhere. Ah, oh, Gwen Plum. She was so funny and she was so clever. What she, she's, she's got a, like a Polaroid camera there by the look of it. One of those. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. With all the flash bulbs. <laughs> This way. Oh. There are a lot of extras on this day, a lot of extras. It was a long day too. Oh, that's the same scene, isn't it? Green dress and yeah, green dress. Ada loved a wedding, didn't she? She did. They can never manage the personal touch. She was so funny. Were you scared of Gwen Plum? No, I love Gwenny. No, no, I wasn't. She was the funniest. Funniest lady. Of Tanya getting out of the car. I don't know how she remembered all of her lines. And get she was so professional. Yeah, okay. How does it work? Oh, you just point and press the red button, don't you? Watch the commercials. Nah. <laughs> oh, don't. <laughs> just taken yourself. Oh, don't. Wait. We shot this in October, I remember, because the jacarandas had come out. Oh, and there's some in the background. Oh, yeah, perfect timing. Yeah, my yeah. dead body. Yeah, jacarandas were everywhere that day. They were beautiful. Don't be Dennis. I Isn't that a gorgeous a chair? Oh, the house right next door. That's a pity. I don't think he knows what he's doing. Oh. Come on, damn dawdle. Oh, excuse me, friend of the bride. <laughs> <laughs> She used to do a lot of ad living, you know. <laughs> did she? Yeah, you weren't allowed to, but Gwenny did, and she did it perfectly. But she could get away with it. I know right. she could. I meant, were you scared of her because you know she always wanted everyone to know their lines, and oh, when she people did. first came on the set, yeah. they, she was a presence. Oh, she was. But but I just saw her heart. She was so beautiful and funny. Don't be Dennis. Doesn't take the good ones. I'll crown. Well, she 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 the expected you to know your lines and stand on. But she also helped all the actors as well. She yeah. helped us all. You know, which was good, gave us a bit of business to do. Oh, here's Linda, Linda. Steiner. Oh, hi. You're running late. Isn't she oh, just, I isn't she gorgeous? Well, I love beautiful. Linda. Yeah, well, have fun. I love Linda, just she's my friend. And of course, on this DVD collection, we will have an, an episode of hers where she, uh, she doesn't quite make it to her wedding. She gets... Who did she marry? She was going to marry someone and she gets shot. She, who, really? Yeah, did she, she die in the show? Yes. I don't think you're allowed to die in the show. Oh, I think she did. did she die? She was going to cop shop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so she would have had to die. This time I just know he wasn't involved. Didn't know she died in the show. <sighs> what is it they say? Give a dog She went from man. nurse to policewoman, just yes, like Paula Duncan. Yes, just like Duncan. that. Yes, I that's right, Paula did as well. I just spoke yes. to the solicitor. I just wish I could get Luke to tell me the whole story. Let loot. Just don't know how. I wish there was something I could do to help. It'll sort itself out. You better go. You'll miss the big event. Yeah, right. Hmm. You know, the trouble with you, Dr. Baxter, is you're too good for your own good. We spoke very beautifully in those days, didn't yes. we? Yes. We were very prim, very... Jacarandas, uh. I remember. Oh, they yes. went all out for your wedding. You they got did. probably the most expensive I reckon. wedding, probably the most expensive episode in the history of the series. I reckon. I had to get married all around Australia. All around. We kept having little receptions. Now, I was really worried about the hoops of my dress. I was a bit embarrassed about the hoops. You see the hoops? Yeah, see? Yeah, they all fell was, down like that. Yeah, they were. It was very big. The, the hoops were really big. I was worried about my hoops. <laughs> if I sat down, <laughs> it would go up over my face, well, so I had to be lady. careful. Are you ready? Yes. I can hardly stop shaking. <laughs> it's true, I was shaking. You when know, I walked down I've the aisle, I was really time. shaking. But you are the most beautiful bride I've ever seen. Oh, isn't he sweet? <laughs> and this is the proudest moment of my life. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, look at my well, lipstick. Shall we go? It's a bit... Mm -hmm. Good luck, Tony. Um, orange. Thank you, Dan. Now, when you refer to having mm. to do this many times over, because mm. Channel 9, all around Australia, they flew you and Tony Alvarez everywhere, and you did everywhere. wedding receptions with the fans. Everywhere. And do you know, we were, we were sent um, wedding presents. We were wedding presents, like salt and, sh salt and pepper shakers and, you know, this and that. Little oh, presents, wow. yeah, and cards and everything was really sweet. But yes, we did. I had. I remember walking down Collins Street in Melbourne in that dress, and 
Tony really didn't like that dress. <laughs> and he said to me, I think the last time, I can't remember where we were, I think it was Adelaide, and Tony said, as soon as we finish this, I'm going to burn this dress. <laughs> I, yes, I was... Yeah, so we, we flew, we went everywhere. But I remember you did in real reception centres. I remember we did. when you came to Brisbane, it, you were in some yeah, real yeah, we famous had, reception yeah, centre for a wedding. Yeah. We did. We had receptions. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today <sighs> in the sight of God. Yes, in the face receptions of the all over the place, to parties. This man and this woman in holy matrimony. I didn't know they could see through that veil. Oh, only just. Come on, I'll find your seat. You'll have you to think maybe you were though. being hidden I, from shot. I thought, mm, I didn't realise it was, you could see everything I was doing. I don't think I was well, doing anything except that feeling that a bit husband. nervous and thinking, we'll together after God's ordinance how long do I have to keep standing up? <laughs> Wilt thou obey him and serve him? Do you think Tony and Tanya rushed into marriage? Were they soulmates? I can't and remember. Others, Let me think. Only unto him, so long I as don't know. I can't remember. He sort of broke up with uh, Paula Duncan and then yes, you he were kind did, of in the wings he? waiting. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, mmm, that's, mmm, not good. But she anyway. was a nice girl, Tanya, but she did get around, didn't she? I'm really sorry to say that she was a little tart, Andrew. She was, she was a little tart. She had boyfriend after boyfriend after boyfriend after boyfriend. And you'd, you know, you would think butter wouldn't melt in her mouth. <laughs> But she didn't smoke, she didn't drink, and she didn't swear. Yeah. <gasps> My eyes were really bloodshot. I was. It was such an early morning. See, Tony. Oh, According to God's gorgeous. holy ordinance. Yeah, she was a little tart. And thereby I plight thee my troth. And thereby I plight thee my troth. Look at his hair. Isn't it fabulous? Yes, it's it a is. I, yeah. Tanya Margaret. I, Tanya Margaret. That was the first time I realised I had a second name. Tony Margaret. Francisco. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that. To my wedded husband. To my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have. And oh, this hold. goes on, From doesn't it? From this day it? forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. You but it's it, rather lovely. Isn't it? it is what? nice. For if you think it goes on now, you wait till I start singing the hymns. In oh, those hymns. In <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh. Yeah. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Now, I know it's hard to remember. What? given that it happened so many mm. years ago, but mm. I, I couldn't quite find an episode that encapsulated why Tony and Tanya broke up. They didn't have well, a really happy marriage, did they, after all of this? No. Well, you do know, do you remember when um, Tanya worked, walked across the road from the hospital to Bunnies and she was run over and, and she had hysteric, she went blind and she had his, and I said to the director and the producer, I don't, why, why because Tanya was knocked over by a car would she go blind and they said she has this hysterical blindness, hysterical blindness and she was in hospital doing blind acting, I was doing blind acting, the phone rang it was Tony, and he said he loved me. He was in Spain or somewhere, and then all of a sudden, Tanya could see. And it's true. That's what happened. And so he must have gone to... He went off on some sort off. of medical research yes. thing well, for a while. Yes, well, that was in Italy or Spain mm. or somewhere. Then he rang me, and then I could see. Look at Kim's hoops. <laughs> her hoops are bigger than yours. No, what she was doing, she was leaning against the altar, and her hoops are out the back. They're very hard. You with all spiritual they were very hard to acting. It's unusual seeing her look so glamorous because mm. her character was quite dowdy, wasn't she, behind yes, the reception yes. desk? Yes. But she started off in the show as quite the glamorous person when she was introduced with uh, Abigail. Oh. She was uh, the mistress of the rich man played by Noel Trevathan. Oh! And then that, when that all went terribly wrong, she tried to commit suicide, oh. and that's why she came back all oh, a bit funny, dressed down bit, and oh, bit, oh, shy. Bit, oh. She wasn't shy back in the day, let me mm. tell you. <laughs> no, Kim and I used to go out. We, we just used to go out, not partying, because I, I, I used to like to go to bed really early because we had to shoot so, you know, so early. We had to get up so early, but we, we would see each other. It was lovely. We had fun. Oh, that's, I didn't know those words. <laughs> I didn't know. I knew that I didn't know the words. Oh, they're doing a close-up. Oh, look at my eyes. I'm looking to that priest for approval to make sure that... <laughs> I, Tony didn't know the words either. And Kim's dress is still out. Uh, the hoops are still. Oh, there's Judy. 
Judy Lynn's behind there, yes. Oh, don't they cut this hymn? It goes on, does it? Mm. Oh. I think I'm... The more important the wedding, the longer it was, I think. Okay. And this was a major... This was, was probably... Lovely. I think in peak of ratings, this was probably the peak of the show. Yes, I, I, I seem to recall it that it was... It well, was. It, that's why they brought you around on receptions everywhere. Mm. The show was absolutely mm. rating at its highest mm. at this point. Mm. And that's why people really thought we were getting married, and that's why we received presents. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's finished. <laughs> Henry, let's go over and make sure everything is okay for the reception. Oh, not yet. You it's not at Bunnies, is it? Is the reception at Bunnies? Andrew? Well, everyone had a reception at Bunnies. I'm, I'm amazed you're not getting wedding. married in Bunnies, actually. Well, actually, yes. Everybody <laughs> else did. It's okay. So it's Mace's business. Mm. Well, I don't know about that, but I just think it's wrong for Andrew to keep taking the blame for everything Luke does. Mm. Here they come. <laughs> oh, look at the hoops. I keep looking at the hoops. Oh, dear. Oh, she dropped it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no time to do that again, I tell you, there was no time. No. You know, the, the wardrobe lady on this show, Roby Buckley, she did a really good job in that she was the only wardrobe mistress and she had a, a helper after a while, but she had to get all of these clothes together. That's a big job, a this show. Huge shoot. job, huge job. And then what about your makeup? Was this in oh, the era of Patricia Hutchins? Yes, it Michael's was. mother? Michael's mum, yes, and that's where I became friends, started to become really good friends with Patricia, and we would go out as well, and I still see her to this day. We're really good friends, and it was through the show. Yeah, she's, yeah, and really good makeup artist. Look at Kim's dress. <laughs> what? <Wow, Kim, laughs> don't lean against me because your hoops are up. Corny, Corny Francis. Corny, Corny hasn't had any dialogue in this episode. She, she must have, it must have been one of her... Yes, yeah, non-dialogue. Oh, that's mm. a pretty shot. Yes, no, she was always talking, wasn't she? Actually, when I walked in to the show, Corny, just for a little second, scared me just a little, just for a second, because she was, you know, she had that beautiful voice, and I, and I really did get a bit scared, so I went into the loo and got myself together, and... You know, that, and everything was okay, but I was a bit scared at first of Cornelia. But we're, we're good friends as well. <laughs> and you weren't allowed to fluff in the show, and if you did, you know, like make a mistake, you had to keep going on. Yeah. You know, you well, I suppose that's good training in a way for actors to just work your way out of a hole. Mm. Oh, yes, yes, I could. Dennis, Dennis, come here a minute. Do you see many of these old cast no, members around the place isn't it today? Terrible? No. I mean, Linda and I are good friends, but I haven't seen Linda for a long time. Or Paula. You know, everybody. We spent. I spent six years with these people. Um, and then when the show finishes, you sort of go off and do other things. Mm. I used to see Corn Cornelia, but I haven't seen her for a little while. Anyway, You'll sort of remember, you, after this you did Prisoner, and I, I did, think I, most I, people I tend to remember you either as Pixie from Prisoner or Tanya from Young Doctors, don't they? Is it about 50-50, do you reckon, when people talk to you in the street yeah, today? Yeah, yeah, yeah yes it is, because mm, I left this show and went in, and then I thought I was going to retire. Yeah, I thought I was going to retire, you know. What, at the end of The Young Doctors? Yeah, 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 I thought, oh, that's it. I think I'll just put my feet up and have a nice time. And then the script from Prisoner came up and I said, no, no, I don't want to go into prison. I don't want to go down to Melbourne. I don't want to, it's a, it's a, you know, you don't wear much makeup in that show and it's all a bit yuck. And then I saw my script. I saw the character, mm. Pixie, and then I thought, oh, right up your alley. got to do, yes, <laughs> yeah. right up my alley. Fed up to those two young men. So, although they have gone to enormous expense for your wedding, yeah. you're having an outside reception. <gasps> they haven't rented oh. a new reception hall for you, by the look of it. Oh, well, they had to make most of those trees, I suppose. I suppose. They did. And the day. We did that in one day. One day. It was a lot. I think it was one. Yes, it was. It was one day. Oh, secret. I mean, what's more important than Tanya's wedding? Registry of Who's getting married? Oh! That's right. Oh, she's getting married too. I'm, oh, I'm that's it's right. A big ceremony Tanya's having. In my no, talk about stealing your thunder. Dress. Thank you very much. Oh, that's right. 
I can vaguely remember that. No, that was her first husband because then something, he obviously got killed from memory because she went and married Dennis, didn't she, after this? Oh, she did. She married Chris King. In that case... You remember more than I do. That's right, she did. I know makes things, but I'm sure... Are you sure? He's sure good, isn't he? there's nothing else you'd like to tell me? I mean, we could always wait till tomorrow, you know, your solicitor and all that. No, oh, there's always something else he can say yeah. for evidence, isn't there? No, I think it's less than I told you. He's coming up for someone, I reckon. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Reckon. Take him the blame. Yes. Oh, look at my cake. There's a bottle of champagne there. I don't think yeah. we, we had champagne, though. I don't know what to say now. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> Yes, yes, I do. Uh, on behalf of my beautiful wife here and I, I'd like to say to all of you, uh, uh, muchísimas gracias por su regalo. Oh, so you're saying I was on the rebound. That's what you're saying, Andrew. You're no, saying I'm saying he real. was on the rebound. So do you think Tanya loved him? I think Tanya I think loved him, did. but I think he was on the rebound. Oh, yes. <laughs> and that's why he was able to race off so quickly afterwards and leave mm, you behind. He did. But I soon found someone else, didn't I? You did. I did. Even when the young doctors finished, it didn't finish until you'd found yourself a new, uh, mm. got back together with uh, Peter Lochran's Peter Lochran. doctor character. Yeah, at the end of the show, he asked me, he rang on the phone. I don't know where he was. I think as he was out of the show, obviously. And he rang and asked he me to marry overseas, him. He was somewhere overseas, yeah. Mm. And I said, yes. Didn't take you long to say no, yes. No, didn't, didn't. I just said yes straight away. <laughs> I think you went on um, your honeymoon to the Gold Coast. Did we? Oh, I think you went to Surfers no. Paradise. Did was you? Was that our honeymoon? Well, I, I don't remember know. We, I remember we went up. I remember to you the Gold went up Coast. to the Gold Coast and did some mm. location shooting. Mm. Oh, look, that was lovely oh, watching that, that, that really wedding is with you. Sweet. Thank you. Thank You're you. so lovely. The Judy McBurney and <laughs> seeing all the guests at your wedding. Probably the highest rating episode ever. That was really sweet to watch that. Of it was the really young doctors. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>